Replica is a tool that allows planners to explore how, when, where, and why people move around a region. Today, the tools city planners rely on to answer these questions are outdated, expensive, and hard to use. Without better data, planners are struggling to understand the full impacts of their decisions and who they affect. Replica is made up of two parts, a replica activity table, a database representing all the trips and activities by people in an area, and Explorer, an easy-to-use interface for querying the data and creating maps and charts. First, let's look at how a replica activity table is created. We use anonymized cell phone location data covering a small percentage of the population to learn about travel patterns and create a travel behavior model, basically a set of rules that represent how a person makes choices on where, when, why, and how to travel. The location data is collected by third-party mobile apps with all identifying information, like names and phone numbers, removed. Separately, we use aggregate census information and other sources to create what planners call a synthetic population. This is a virtual population that is statistically representative of the real population. If 300 people live on your block, you'll find 300 people living on your block in Replica, but you won't be able to identify any individual. We then give each person in the virtual population a travel behavior model based on where they live, work, and some other factors. Finally, we use computer simulation to generate a week of trips and activities for each person. Let's dive in and take a look at one person in the virtual population as an example. In the replica activity table, we can see this person is in a household of one adult and two kids. She lives in the suburbs and owns a car. We can see in the data that she drives to work downtown, leaving home around 8 a.m., stopping off at a coffee shop on the way. In the afternoon, she leaves work at 4 p.m. and heads to the grocery store. She gets home at 5. A replica activity table is made up of millions of virtual people, each with their own home, work, or school, and a full week of trips and activities. Replica activity tables are also up to date. We create a new one about every three months, allowing comparisons across seasons and showing how people respond to new infrastructure or policies on the ground. In Replica, workers go to work and families go out to dinner. Roads are congested at rush hour. Downtown sidewalks are busy at lunchtime. People travel in taxis, on foot, and by transit. These movements are faithful to real-world activities, but not traceable to actual people or specific trips. So how can all this data help planners when trying to build better cities? That's where Explorer comes in. Using Explorer, they can filter the data to see what's happening in different neighborhoods, on specific streets and transit lines, at different times of the day, and for different types of people. Wondering which streets might need wider sidewalks? A planner can create a map showing the number of walking trips on every street in the city. Need to close a busy corridor for water main repairs? They can make a chart showing the time of day with the least traffic. Want to allocate limited transit improvement funds? They can find transit usage for every route, who's riding, and for what purpose. By giving planners easy access to information that's more accurate, current, and representative than what's typically available, we hope Replica can help make planning more data-informed and inclusive, and in doing so, create more sustainable and equitable cities.